Hey guys, Eman Fast here with a Pokemon Emerald playthrough. This is my first one ever, and I've chosen Pokemon Emerald because it's my favorite game. So, in the beginning of the game, there's a lot of dialogue because it's a tutorial, and I'm not going to read all of it because it would be boring and redundant, so I'm just going to pretty much paraphrase what they're saying. So, here we have Professor Birch. He's a Pokemon professor for the Hone Region, and he throws out a sombrero. <laughs> no, that's a Lotad. And, um,. So the world is widely inhabited by Pokemon, most of us should know this. And so we band together and we fight other people and stuff. And so his job basically is to unravel the Pokemon mysteries and learn more about them. And here we are, we get to talk about ourselves. So I'm a boy, hopefully it wasn't too hard to figure out, like now I'm a tranny. No, I'm a boy, yep. And I'm gonna name myself E-Man for this walkthrough. You know, it's the first one, why not? And so, we're gonna move to the hometown of Little Root that he lives in. And our Pokemon journey's about to start. Yeah. Take courage, your neighbor, to the world of Pokemon. Yeah, Pokemon, whoa. So, we start out in the back of a moving truck, cause our crazy mom thought it would be a good idea for us to ride back here with all the furniture and luggage. Well, here we go, and, oh, speaking of the devil, here comes our mom, and she's talking about, like, how it's tiring riding in the back, like, oh, no, we're gonna bite her. We're a caged animal, we're gonna hurt her. No, she was afraid of us, no. Um, so, she's talking about the home, and how it's nice that we moved here, and we finally get our own room. And so basically all the Pokemon here are, like, doing all the work, and they're cleaning up, and they're so convenient. So for this part, we have to set up the clock that our dad bought, and here are Vigoroths, uh, their normal type, and that one's moving boxes, and that one is doing something disturbing to our TV over there. No wonder our mom hired them. Uh, so here's our clock. We have to set it. I'm just going to set a random time. I don't really know what the time is. I don't really care. Just trying to get this tutorial over with. And so the Pokemon movers are done finish. They're done moving this stuff downstairs. And like in every Pokemon game, we're gonna go over here and take out our handy dandy potion. It's always there. So once, there are many of those in the beginning of the game, by the way. And we come out here and oh man, come quickly. The TV, look, it's Petalburg Gym. Maybe dad will be on. We brought this report in front of Petalburg Gym, and oh, it's over. <laughs> wow, anticlimactic much. Nice job, Mom. And so we have to, she's telling us to go talk to Professor Birch next door. And we go outside, and boom, all the houses look exactly the same. Nothing different about them at all whatsoever. And, oh my god, it's a fat guy. It's a fat guy, oh my god. Okay, so... I thought it'd be a good idea to nickname every fat guy we saw, and we're gonna nickname him David. Perfect nickname for a fat guy. And so let's talk to him. If you're a PC who can start atoms in Pokemon, the power of science is staggering. <laughs> yeah, that was a fat guy. And let's barge into this house, and the mom comes over and is like, and you I. And all we say is dot 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 dot. Because we have such good manners, you know. Barge into houses, just say dot dot dot. And so basically, they have a daughter named May, and we're gonna like have an arranged marriage or something. No, they want us to become friends with her for some reason, and we're gonna steal her stuff, and oh, here she comes. 
Who, who are you? And da 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 Oh, I'm Eman, yes, I'm Eman, and I'm very glad to meet you, and she's basically saying that she wants to become friends with us because she's a really weird person, and she just met us, and she's... <laughs> okay. And oh no, she was about to help Dad catch a wild Pokemon. She'll catch it later, and... She says she's gonna help her dad, and she runs over to her computer. Yeah. People these days. <laughs> oh yeah, I gotta catch a wild Pokemon. Gotta go on Twitter, hashtag catching Pokemon. No, she's just being weird. So we go over here, and then this little girl's like, Um, hi, there's scary Pokemon outside, and I can hear their scary cries. I want you to go see what's going on, but I don't have any Pokemon. Can you see what's happening for me? And so, yes, we go over here, and oh no, it's Professor Birch! And it's Execute! Oh my god, it's scary! I peed my pants. No, I didn't, it's just really scary. And so we have to go save him by going in the ball and boom, the three starters of the Hoenn region. So for those of you who don't know, here's the Wood Gecko Pokemon Trigo, it's a grass type, and in full evolved form is still a grass type. Torchic the Chick Pokemon is a fire type and evolves into a, a fire fighting type. And Mudkip is a mudfish Pokemon, starts it as water and goes to water ground. And so a lot of people for the playthroughs choose Torchic and Mudkip I guess really common, like along with Rolts and Tails. So I'm gonna choose Trico. Cause for this general playthrough, I'm gonna try to pick Pokemon that are that I haven't used before in earlier runs and like ones that are less common among those. So here we have our Trico on oh my god, the most powerful move ever. Pound. Here hit him again. Oh yeah. That heavy damage though. That heavy damage though. So we took out the scary Zagoon that was attacking Professor Birch. It was so intense. So here's Professor Birch. Woo! I was in the tall grass while Pokemon jumped out at me. Thanks, you, thanks a lot, you saved me. Yeah, so this is us meeting him for the first time. and So he's going to talk about how we're great at battling with our Pokemon because we defended off a Zigzagoon. And we have our... We're amazing, blah, blah, blah. We're awesome. And he gives us the Pokemon we just used, Trico. And so, yeah, why not? I'm gonna try nicknaming all my Pokemon in this video. And, okay, don't judge me anyone in the comment sections for this name, but I'm gonna name this guy Geico, cause he can save 15% or more in car insurance. No, I do not advertise for Geico. I don't work for them. I just, he just looks like the Geico on that Geico commercial, so I'm, that Gecko on the Geico commercial, sorry, excuse me. So I'm gonna name him that. So, basically he's telling us we should go, get, go to May and she can teach us how great of a trainer she is. And so, the tutorial's basically over at this point. All we have left is to get our Pokédex. So, we can finally advance on to Route 101. So, for most of the routes, I'll probably be putting up sidebars other than the one that I have for my team and to show what Pokemon you can catch in this area because like I don't know not th I'm not gonna do it for this one just because all you can catch are really like Zigzagoons, Poochianas, and Wurmples and those aren't really important so in later routes I'll be basically just showing a sidebar of the Pokemon you can catch and the percentage and stuff when I'm not showing the team one so for most also including for most Wild battles, I'll probably just super speed with my emulator because I really, we really don't need to watch the Pokemon battles. And moving on, we made it to Old Old Town and it looks exactly like the town we just left. Like house for house, they just added a Pokemon Center. And let's talk to this man looking woman thing and uh, Hi, I work at a Pokemon Mark, can I get you to come with me? Oh, so now we're following her. Oh, wow, you work five steps away from your house that must be fun you know don't crap where you eat but anyways she gives us a potion Woo! our second free potion in the game so basically for those <laughs> potions heal 20 hp of a pokemon no matter what you do and that's route 103 up there and that's where you fight may for your trainer battle but over here you have this nerd who's like, ah, wait, please don't come over here. I discovered the footprints of a rare Pokemon. Wait until I've finished, okay? 
So like, oh god, fine. We'll go over here then. Jeez, what a jerk. And so now we're in round 103 and look, it's May. And we're gonna go battle her. Okay, super speed, just don't really wanna fight you. And here we go, come up behind her, kabam! Oh, hi, man. I see my dad gave you Pokemon as a gift. Since we're here, let's have a quick battle. I'll give you a taste of what being a trainer is like. Oh, I, lo I love the battle music in this game. That's another reason why I like this game so much. It was one of the first ones I ever played, and other than Leaf Green, and I just liked it a lot. It's the music, and yes, it has a lot of trumpets in it, I admit to that, but I don't know, the music, I just like it a lot. The Pokemon are good. Oh, come on, a critical? Okay, this is gonna, I, we're gonna lose now. The beginning of the game, when someone gets a, cr what? Two criticals, are you kidding me? What, we lost to May. We lost the first battle to May. How cheap was that? Did you see that? Well, we start all the way back here. We just like fainted and it's like, oh great, our mom's back. I thought I left. But did you see that we lost the first battle to May? We, she got two crits on us. My God. Oh, that's so sad. Should I cut this out? No, it's so sad. How did we lose the first trainer battle to May? My God, there's like such a small percentage of that. Like, her getting two crits in a row, and then knocking us out. Oh man, you're supposed to win those. Those are like the battles in the tutorial still that you're supposed to win. <sighs> hmm, that's depressing. Well, we're gonna come back and rematch her. My god, you lucky freaking jerk. Lucky son. Bitch. So we're gonna battle her again. Hopefully we can beat her. Hopefully no one gets any crits. Cause as you saw last time, we were faster than the Torchic. So we would've won automatically cause we just spam pound and boom, we kill her. And okay, please don't get any crits. I'm gonna rage so hard if she gets any more crits on us. That was, that was a load of crap. To be honest, that was a load of crap. Two crits in a row on us. You know, Geico couldn't, couldn't help that. He couldn't. Too, too much percentage of error from 15. Anyway, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Uh, here, Geico gained 69 experience points. That's not <laughs> coincidental at all since reversing May. You know, 69. Right? Anyways, moving on. Didn't mean anything by that. And we beat Trainer May after the second try. Yeah, we're pretty good. We lost to you the first time. Yeah. Yeah, we just got a Pokemon and we already lost. Yeah. No. Yeah, we. I don't know how we lost. That was so cheap. I hate when that happens. Uh, but now we have to go back to lab and we're about to get our Pokedex. Our first ever Pokedex. So first I'm going to heal because we just fought in a battle. And just saying now for whenever we go in the Pokemon Center, I'm just going to fast forward through it. Because, you know, we don't really need to watch her healing our Pokemon Ball. It's just like, are you sure you want me to heal them? I'm like, yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, please come again tomorrow. Whatever. I kind of find it weird when they say, like, we hope to see you again. I was always like, why? That would just mean that my Pokemon got injured and beat up again. Like, you want to see my Pokemon in pain again? What's the matter with you? Uh, moving on, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, but hey, David, how's it going? And we walk into the lab, and there's Professor Birch and May, and <laughs> really? We beat May on our first try. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Wow, that's really sad. The text had to cover for us. Like, the text had to say that we came in first. That's That's just sad. When you lose your first battle and the text is like, wow, you won. That's sad. So sad. So basically, what just happened while now it's ranting, Birch gave us a Pokedex and May's gonna give us Pokeballs. Yeah, we can now catch Pokemans with our Pokemon balls. And now we can, the tutorial is pretty much officially over at this point. And, oh wow, I forgot about this. 
we're gonna get, oh, how could I forget? We're getting our running shoes, wow. Here, honey, if you're going to adventure, wear these running shoes. They'll put a zip in your step. Pokemon logic. You can't run in regular shoes. You must be wearing running shoes. Cause that's how science works. Yeah, well anyways, now that we can run, hiya! Pokemon logic, now that we can run, we're gonna continue on through this place and, wow, thanks for interrupting, jerk. And we're gonna, I think I might end off the video here. I, we got a decent amount done. Tomorrow, next episode, no, sorry, not tomorrow, maybe tomorrow. Next episode, oh wait, what happened with your footprints? I was sketched the footprints of a rare Pokemon, but it turns out they're only my own. Wow, wow, you impeded our Pokemon adventure just so you could sketch your own footprints. Are you, wow, okay, you're not even a nerd, you're just stupid. Well, anyways, next episode, we might catch our next Pokemon. We might reach that, and so, Thank you for watching. <laughs> this is my first ever video. Please leave a like if it feels good. And see you all next time.